You've achieved success in your field when you don't know whether what you're doing is work or play. Lenin said that people vote with their feet. Well, that's what's happening. They either go or they don't go. It's all politics. It's all demographics. My notion of a wife at 40 is that a man should be able to change her, like a bank note, for two twenties. For years, Warner Brothers was trying to get me to make a movie about Howard Hughes. I'm slow at everything I do. I was studying with Stella Adler, who was a great, great teacher who encouraged me to be an actor. I had thought I would just write or direct or whatever. I wasn't thinking very much of Hollywood. I was thinking only of the legitimate theater. But then I changed. There's almost nothing that hasn't been said about me. But there's an awful lot that I haven't said. I don't talk about private things. I don't want to be mushy about it, but having four kids is definitely the best thing that has ever happened to me, and each kid is, to me, more fascinating than any five movies. I don't want to run for governor, but I don't think anyone should put public service out of the question because... That's not what a good citizen does. How can anybody hate nurses? Nobody hates nurses. The only time you hate a nurse is when they're giving you an enema. I believe if a private citizen is able to affect public opinion in a constructive way, he doesn't have to be an elected public servant to perform a public service. Character is plot, and casting is character. I left Northwestern University after a year and was in New York playing piano, in a little bar on 58th Street, and I didn't know whether to go back. When you mutilate movies for mass media, you tamper with the hearts and minds of America. Although Ronald Reagan was somebody I disagreed with on most ideological things, he was a friend of mine, and he was a very, very likable man. Ronald Reagan, for instance, was maybe more able to get the very rich to do the right thing sometimes. And the success of the union movement, historically, has always been to benefit all working men and women, not just people who belong to the union. And then the conditions of safety or lack of safety for teachers in public schools and the disparity between public schools and private schools is shameful. Being here allows me to make the case that not all aging Narcissistic movie actors whose children could be mistaken for their grandchildren necessarily act with the same motivation. For me, the highest level of sexual excitement is in a monogamous relationship. Government is not show business. I have a day job. I can make movies when I want to. Marriage requires a special talent, like acting. Monogamy requires genius. Movies are fun, but they're not a cure for cancer. My mother and my father were teachers. My grandmother and my grandfather were teachers. This is something I really know about. Even when I was a kid, it was a profession my father couldn't stay in, because he couldn't make enough money. Organized labor, if they're doing a responsible job, is going to organize the pooling of small amounts of money to protect the 
interests of the people who are not rich. That's all gone, now, the old, Hollywood. The definition of a Schwarzenegger Republican is a Bush Republican who says, he's a Schwarzenegger Republican. There's no point in making a movie just to be making a movie. To say that people would cease to come to California if they would have to pay more taxes is to underestimate the advantages of being in California mightily. I was friends with President Ronald Reagan and he once said to me, I don't know how anybody can serve in public office without being an actor. I think I've been lucky enough not to have to do movie after movie after movie for financial reasons, so I've been able to live life and also make movies. I didn't have to grind them out. I could go long periods where I was living life rather than tripping over cables. I've never talked to anyone writing a book on me. I've had so much written about me that is made up, usually something that seems silly enough or weird enough to get remarked upon, and it's pretty much all fiction. I sometimes feel I have met everyone he ever met, but I never met him. I am afraid to say I have always been, the word I would have to use is, amused by Howard Hughes. When I came to Hollywood, I would take the opportunity to get to know George Stevens or Willie Wyler or Billy Wilder or Freddie Zinnemann. David Lean I got to know, of course, in London, and David Selznick and Daryl Zanuck, not to mention Jack Warner, and Sam Goldwyn was actually very, very nice to me. If I had done some of the movies that I was offered as an actor and very good movies, by the way, and some of them big money makers, I don't know that I ever would have taken what was the concentration or the time to do the movies that I produced. Reds is a good example, but Shampoo is also an example, and so was Heaven Can Wait. I have been famous for a long time. You know you're old when you're asked, do you have hobbies? Building a house is a lot like movie making. The attention to detail, the sense that you're doing something that has longevity. I'd rather ride down the street on a camel than give what is sometimes called an in-death interview. I think I've had 16 books that purport to be a biography of me. I've never cooperated with someone. I actually knew Adlai Stevenson and Jack and Bobby Kennedy. Art is truth. It's hard to misquote someone who doesn't say anything. By attracting attention to yourself, you distract people from the movie. Ideally, you like a movie to speak for itself. You don't describe a song before you sing it or tell about a painting before you show it. You don't reveal the recipe before you serve the dish. You taste it. I would say that I wasn't so much afraid of marriage as afraid of divorce. I don't know that any of us can control our own image. We are what other people see. Invented memory is a subject that fascinates me. The unconscious is much smarter than the conscious.